Hey, I can see him smiling from here, and that's Billy King. Pulled off the blockbuster trade. The Nets are now an incredibly formidable team. Billy, welcome. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks. Uh, you have to be ecstatic to finally put the the finishing touches and the uh, now full stamp on this trade, Billy. And, and ha tell, give me what you can about how this trade came about. How did this dialogue start for this trade? Well, I think I started initially just, you know, trying to focus on Paul Pierce um, and talking to, to Boston about Paul Pierce. I think we got to the point where we were comfortable with the deal on that one. Then I said, well, how can I get Garnett as well? And then uh, and we just kept talking and kept talking, and we figured out a way to make it work. Did Garnett's no trade play a big obstacle, or was it not a big obstacle? Well, I thought that Danny and I needed to figure out a way if we can get to a deal, and then we would focus on the part of, of Kevin. And I think if I got Paul and having Jason and having the team that we have, that you know, I, th I thought Kevin would would come on board. And so once we reached the deal with Boston and in principal, you know, they allowed us to talk to Kevin, and then you know, I had Jason reach out to him and Darren Williams, and and we all sort of done draft night, you know, tried to convince him and uh, he came on board draft night what was the biggest was there any obstacles to this trade billy that had to be overcome or what, did it go smoothly well i mean a lot of it was you know what we were willing to give up and what they wanted and that's where we were going back and forth on, on trying to get to the point where they felt comfortable and we felt comfortable on a deal um and the biggest obstacle was, it was kevin uh, you know we had to visit with him and talk to him and get to the point where you know, he understood that we were, you know, we were trying to position ourselves to try to win a championship. Uh, he wanted to be a part of that. He wanted to be a part of an organization that could believe in winning. And I said, that's our goal. And so that was the main selling point. Did you have to sell Garnett harder or Pierce harder? Uh, Pierce was the, because he didn't have a no trade. So I think that part, and um, then. That part was pretty easy. The Garnett part was, you know, we had to, we had to do some talking to him and let him understand because the one thing Kevin is a very loyal person. And I think when he commits to something like he did to Boston for all the years in the fans, you know, it was tough for him to say goodbye. And that's what the part that we had to overcome. We're talking with the Nets GM, Billy King, on the day that the trade becomes official. They'll announce these guys next week. Uh, you know, they'll all bring them to town and have their pomp and circumstance and their press conferences and bask in the glory, which they should because they now have a very, very formidable, very special team uh, in Brooklyn. And, uh, you know, when a GM puts a team together and starts to dream, I mean, that starting five you got there, Billy, when you think about it, could be unbelievable. I mean, and not only, not only because of the, the fact that it fits, but the blend of youth and experience and the way those guys like Pierce and Garnett could make those other guys better, especially Lopez, could be very, uh, could be fun to watch. Well, you know, that's something that, you know, look at what Kevin has. Kevin's always been someone that is a very good competitor and he's won wherever he's been and, and Paul, I mean, they won a championship, you know, they were able to, to get to the finals twice when they first put that team together. So I think bringing them more, bringing their experience, well, Brooke, well, uh, Andrew Blacks, well, Barron, I think that's a little bit the toughness and the defensive fact that they bring will help this organization. Did Kid, was, did Kid have a role in the trade? It, was Kid a factor in the trade? Was his presence a big positive in the trade, or did it not play a big factor at all? Well, you know, when it came about, I started talking to him about it. And I mentioned, you know, Paul, and he got excited about that. And I said, what if we get KG? And he got even more excited. And then he really became a big factor in, in talking to Kevin because, you know, they had played together on Olympic teams, and so they had a relationship. So I really leaned on him in that regard to, to really talk to him. I really talked to Paul uh, and explain really his philosophy, what he's going to look to try to do it from the coaching standpoint. And I think also him understanding, you know, as a player when you get towards the – a lot of part of the years and, and the time that they may need to rest, and he understands that because he just went through it. Talking with Billy King, the Nets GM, about this team of his right now, which obviously the trade goes through, a mega trade with a, a lot of pieces, draft picks, exchange picks, sign and trades, everything. This is as complicated as you get, and they bring back, obviously, Pierce Garnett, Terry. Uh, so uh, it really makes the Nets a very, very formidable team. Uh, do you run away from the fa the expectations, or would you sit here right now and say that this team has a chance to be a championship team this year? 
Well, you know, I've, I've been one never to make predictions. I think, you know, you always still got to do it on the court. But, you know, I like the fact that on paper how we look, uh, I like our experience. I like our youth. Um, I like the coaching staff that we have in place. So now we've got to play the games. And I do think we're a playoff team. Do I think we're better than yet last year? Yes. But we've still got to play the games. And, and until someone defeats Miami, you know, there's still a chance that I would say the favorites. Because, you know, when you're a champion, somebody – would you say your team ha- – would you say you have any weaknesses? You know, it's hard to say until you start playing. And I think probably the biggest thing is going to be, you know, how quickly does the chemistry come together. And I think that would be the weakness going into the season just because, you know, I think Darren and Joe and Brooke are familiar with each other and Andre are familiar with each other. But I think now it's how quickly does, you know, Livingston and, and the rest of Jason Terry and Darren Pierce – come into the fold. That, that would be the weakness for me to start the season. How many years do you think guys like Pearson and Garnett have left? Well, I, I think with the team like this, if they're not asked to do the carry the, the bulk of the, the load, I think they easily have two or three more years for sure. And it's, I think Pierce said the other day 10, so I, I don't want to shortchange him. <laughs> no, no, I agree. We're talking with Billy King. How much pressure does this put on your point guard to make everything work? Do you feel he is the one? Does anybody here in your mind have to really subjugate their game? Or See, that's the one thing I like about this. I don't see one guy having to make major sacrifices to who he is in this five. And that's unusual when you make this kind of deal. That's why it's such a seamless fit for me because I don't look at it and say, boy, that guy really has to sacrifice or really change his game. Pretty Everybody, else, everybody can pretty much do it. What they do yeah that's the thing is not one guy on our roster feels like they, they've got to shoot the ball they got to score the ball or they got to you know be the one guy to make the passes i think we've got a lot of guys that fit in it's very similar to when boston put their team together when ray and kg and paul came in um we've got a lot of guys that they're smart basketball but also understand that it's not about them and um so it's going to be interesting uh i'm excited about it uh, especially for our fans you know who you know, for a long time, Mets fans have been, you know, rooting for, looking for something like this.